Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be covering the Clip Studio Paint Essentials. These are my essentials, so they might differ from a lot of other people, but these are the tips, tricks, and techniques that I use every time I draw using Clip Studio Paint. Things I consider a must when using Clip Studio Paint. But first we're gonna need a sketch. So today I'm gonna to be drawing a winter themed anime girl um, for our layout and dimensions. That'll be included in a different video and we'll put that inside the description or a link. So I'm gonna to try to keep this focus on how to use the tools and what tools I use as opposed to how to draw. That'll be covered in future videos. So when starting off the sketch, uh, we'll stick with using all of our default brushes. So we'll go to pencil and you can use darker pencil, rough pencil. I really like using the rough pencil. And the canvas size, generally I have a large, large canvas. Um, and this is 13 inches by 19 inches at 300 DPI. Um, this is just so that I have a lot of space to work on. And when I'm doing a sketch, I don't just work on the whole entire canvas. Sketches I generally do really tiny and then I'll scale it up later. About this size here. It can be slightly bigger, but with all of this space, you can do a ton of sketches. So imagine this is like a full drawing here. As you can see, when I zoom in, the pixels barely show up at this scale. Actually, let's use the colored pencil. That's that's one of their default brushes that I really like using. So it has a little bit of texture and it's slightly transparent. So every time I go over it, it'll get slightly darker depending on what color you use. And the color that I'm using right now, it doesn't matter, but I'm using a slightly grayish brown metallic ashy color a really desaturated violet. Again, it can be any color you want. We can move it towards the right a little bit. There it is. So this is our color that we're gonna be using. So right off the bat, first tool that you can use to erase is pressing delete. If you press backspace, nothing happens. You gotta press delete and it'll erase everything on the screen. Another way to erase is uh, using your lasso tool. So I'll have mine key binded to the L button, the L key and I'm gonna lasso around it and then hit delete. Another way is to come down here and press this icon over here. That's also delete. So there's just a lot of ways to um, delete or erase a huge chunk of the picture. And if you wanna erase just a portion of the drawing, uh, switch to your eraser tool or D. I use the, I use the letter D to keep um, everything close to my left hand. And that's my eraser tool. And then lastly, a really, really important eraser tool that I like to use a lot, and we'll come back to this later, is the transparent mode. So brushes or any kind of painting tool has two swatches to choose from. And pressing X will switch between the two colors that, that are selected. So right now I have white and, and brown. So pressing X will go to white. So I'm painting white onto the canvas. Now say I wanted to um, erase using the same brush, using the same setting with the same textures and everything. So instead of switching to my eraser, I will go to this checkered swatch here. That, that stands for transparency. So anytime you see this checkered symbol, that means it's transparent. It's also located on the right side over here. And that's transparent. And also here for the layers. So that means if it's transparent, that means you can see through it and there's nothing on the layer. This is the background layer. So that's what that's the color you see there. So it's not transparent. This one has checkers, so that's transparent. So to get to your transparent mode, you press C and that's by default. Pressing C will switch to the transparent mode and I can erase using the same brush. And this saves a lot of time without having to go to your, your eraser tool. Going to your eraser will switch you to all of these different options. But say if you're using like a pencil or a paintbrush or something and you like the way that brush looks, and the shape of that brush and the size, all you have to do is press C and it'll switch it to transparent mode. And so now you're erasing with that same brush. All right, so let's get rid of that. Let's make a small list of things that we're learning as we're going. Erasing, let's do another one. We'll do zooming. Zooming or magnifying, zooming in and out. That's a quick one. So a quick way to zoom in and out is to hold on hold on to option or alt and then space bar and just holding onto the screen with your pen and scrubbing left and right and that'll give you your zoom 
Um, and also another way is to hold on to command and um, spacebar. It just it switches between um, the negative magnifying glass and the positive. Command is for positive and option is for negative. And you would tap it if you want to zoom out and then switching to zooming in with the positive is tapping. Again, it'll go in, but just holding onto it is a much faster way. You can just, just drag your pen left and right and it'll zoom in and out. Next we'll do managing canvas. So that kind of falls into zooming in and out as well. But I'm able to rotate around the canvas by holding onto spacebar. It'll turn into the hand tool and I'm able to move the canvas around and then holding onto option, I can zoom in and out. So if I need to pan around and get to a portion of the picture, I can zoom in. And if I wanted to rotate the canvas, I would hold onto shift and spacebar. You can rotate. Now, if you wanted to go to the default orientation, you can go to this little icon here and it'll reset the rotation and it'll reset it. You can also click these buttons here. Those are ways to rotate the canvas, zooming in and out, these little buttons here, but our hotkeys are much faster. You can also find your position on the canvas as well by clicking and dragging the little navigator here. And if you wanted to check for mistakes whenever you're mirroring your image, you would flip it horizontally like this, and vertically like this with these two. And that pretty much covers the canvas so we'll pause here for now, but we'll pick it back up in another video. Until then, you can follow me on all the socials at The Jetty Jet Show. Thanks for watching. Keep on drawing. Take care. Peace.